The Ghana National Association of Teachers and National Association of Graduate Teachers have denied the 92% legacy salary arrears that the president, Kufuado, says teachers have been paid. Reacting to the State of the Nation address, the two teacher unions said the figure is inaccurate since more than 40,000 teachers are owed the legacy arrears. The president at the State of the Nation address said 92% of the legacy arrears owed teachers have been paid. The arrears dates back from 2012 to 2016 due to the implementation of the three months payment policy. Though the three months payment policy has been abolished, some areas are still lingering. President of Nagrat, Angel Kabonu, says the figure by the president cannot be accepted. We are collecting that data. Now, when we get that data, uh, we'll bring the data together and then we'll know the true situation, the true picture of those who are old legacy areas. For now, we are a bit apprehensive about the 92%. General Secretary of NAT, Musa Tanko, also indicated that so far over 40,000 teachers are owed their arrears and the 92% cannot be accurate. To comment on what the president said when asked to where the figure is coming from, because we were with him when this thing came up and we challenged the figures given by the controller and accountant general's department. And we still stand by our earlier uh, position that we do not believe that we are the, uh, the, the 3,000 table by the controller and accountant general department at the meeting is actually the fact. In another development, the unions have again asked the president, Anadu Dankwe Kufado, to withdraw the pre tertiary bill. Discussions on the bill with the teachers are to commence next week. But ahead of that, Nats and Nagrat say the bill should be withdrawn. It's not the separation of the Ghana Education Service or the splitting up of Ghana Education Service. It's the movement of needed resources and logistics to the various institutions for us to achieve results and expected outcomes. I can tell you on authority that some district directors use their own resources to run the institution. Come to the, the school level. What is happening now is that the head teacher will use his or her own resources to run the school then at the end of the year, the government will come and pay. So we are doing postpaid instead of prepaid. And a bill that would take basic education and place it under district assemblies that have no capacity to manage education, we can foresee that we'll have a situation where there was even going to be polarization because the secondary schools will be under the regional coordinating councils. So teachers may gravitate towards one sector. And if you are not careful, you will not have qualified teachers, graduate teachers, accepting posting into districts where they will be tied to that district. Meanwhile, the unions have asked the president to provide adequate resources and funding to support education in the country.